to battle for survival in the wild world, where the snake gets a better end when confronting the hedgehog. The wilderness is a cruel place. The strong will control the game, that they have the right to decide whether the life of the poor prey will end at one time or another. Usually, large-bodied carnivores will receive a lot of calls from humans. However, up to a third of humans carry a mysterious fear of snakes, whether they are poisonous or not. Snakes are reptiles who, when they hide behind grass of the same color, it is very difficult to spot this dangerous predator. But a surprising thing is that humans have the ability to detect snakes very quickly. The evolution has taught us this fear of preserving life. If you come across a snake, my advice is to try to stay calm and get out of there as quickly as possible. Because that is the lesson that evolution has for mankind. Life in the sandy grasslands and scrublands is a great area for snakes. When night fell, the predatory snake chose for itself a safe hiding place. With its grey skin, it is the king of camouflage. The sound around its scales helps it disappear from view of other animals. It just lay still, watching and waiting for its prey. It can attack people or other animals with the agility and the accuracy in all directions, even at the fastest of movements. When disturbed, this hot-tempered animal often attacks back with the most fierce and powerful. Living in the wild grassland, there is a small species, rarely listed as a dangerous by humans. These thorny spheres are called hedgehogs. Not as big as a lion and not as strong as an elephant, but this tiny creature can protect itself from many other predators. A small lovely fleece, but spiky fur is the ultimate weapon of the hedgehog. It must be said that hedgehogs are the most annoying enemies of the notorious predators in the grasslands, including snakes. Perhaps many people will be surprised to see videos of hedgehogs attacking snakes. Is this even possible? The answer is yes. Snakes are even a part of the diet of many hedgehogs. Hedgehogs especially like to sip on vipers to fill their hungry stomachs. Vipers are well-known venomous snakes, but their venom does not affect hedgehogs due to their immunity. How does this little creature hunt snakes? This is a quite hard to believe, but it is part of reality in nature. If you are thinking about the scene of a large flock of hedgehogs using their collective power to attack snakes, unfortunately, that is a misconception. Hedgehogs do not live in groups. All hedgehogs are individuals, particularly the porcupine species Edo Horizondea in South America can live in pairs of mother and child. Most of the hedgehog's diet consists of plants, bark, stems, shoots and nuts. Although they do not eat meat, hedgehogs often gnaw on bones to sharpen their teeth. Furthermore, bones provide them with important minerals like salts and calcium that keep them healthy. Therefore, insects, centipedes or snakes can become a delicious prey for the hedgehogs. Hedgehogs are nocturnal animals. They are said to be surprisingly ferocious, eating anything in their path when hungry. Almost all encounters between snakes and hedgehogs take place after nightfall. Rarely do snakes actively attack porcupines. They are wary of sharp spines. Only silly snakes with frenzied hunger attack hedgehogs. Therefore, the wars between snakes and hedgehogs are mostly initiated by hedgehogs. First, the hedgehog angers the snake, causing the snake to rush towards the opponent blindly. And at that moment, the shrewd hedgehog curled up, directing the feathers at the opponent. Each time snakes have wounds, the hedgehog continued to repeat the action many times over, as cunning as a cat and a mouse. It's hard to believe that the venomous snake that scares humans away is just a joke for the little hedgehog. 
the hedgehog's clever snake hunting strategy has helped it master the game. However, the war is just one-sided. Any mistake can kill the hedgehog. Snakes are opponents that cannot be underestimated. They possess deadly venom, and if a snake bites the part of the face that has no protective spines, the hedgehog can die from the snake's venom. There is also evidence that there are some mechanisms in the porcupine body that help them counteract the effect of the snake venom. There hasn't been much research on this topic of snake venom that affects on hedgehogs, and some scientists think that hedgehogs are only partially immune to the venom. When bitten by a snake or certain points, the hedgehog can still die a few hours later. There have been descriptions of a fight between a snake and a hedgehog in which both sides eventually died. But in this fight, the hedgehog is the victor with a delicious, nutritious feast of snake meat as a reward. After being stabbed many times with sharp thorns, the snake gradually exhausted from having too many wounds and gradually it is no longer to have the strength to attack. And this is exactly the moment when the hedgehog can make its next move. It bites the snake next several times, and the final blow hits the snake when the vertebrae are completely crushed. The hedgehog eats the snake's head first, and the whole meal can go on for several hours as their teeth get used to insects and smaller animals. A hedgehog will not consume the whole snake. What attracts our attention is the special fur on the hedgehog, the weapon that helps to win most snake confrontations. Having said that, the hedgehog should give their sincere thanks to these spikes. Most hedgehogs are born with spines. Some lie underneath a fluid-filled layer of skin, and others are covered by a membrane. The porcupine's first spines are much softer and are replaced by the stronger spines as they grow. Some hedgehogs have as many as 30,000 spines on their bodies. An unbelievable number, but it is absolutely true. These spikes can easily be released in an emergency so that the hedgehog can escape from the enemy, similar to the mechanism of a lizard's tail. Hedgehog's feathers are coated with a potent natural antibiotic, which has been shown to inhibit the growth of certain strains of bacteria. That may seem odd, as if hedgehogs are protecting their predators from infection, but hedgehogs are most likely done for their own safety. Hedgehogs can accidentally stab themselves in many situations, such as falling from a tree, which research shows can happen quite often, and wearing antibiotic coated feathers can limit damage to them. With that killer feather, it is the hedgehogs completely safe in the wild. Of course not. No animal is completely safe in the wild. Higher mountains have higher peaks. That's why even though it can prevent some dangers, the hedgehogs can escape all the big and powerful predators, such as pythons, lynx, great horned owls, hounds, wolves, and lions. The North American marten, in particular, is adept at disabling the porcupine's thorny feathers by flipping the North American porcupine upside down, exposing its defenseless abdomen. After watching the video, your view of hedgehogs will change significantly. Hedgehogs are still considered small, slow and adorable creatures. Many people even kept hedgehogs as house pets. However, this small creature hides the ability of a true predator. The venomous snake encountered in this video proves it. Nature's food chain is not just a one-way street. It's a complex web that humanity has been trying to understand for decades. We hope that the video helps you to have a more and new interesting knowledge about the wildlife world. Please press the button to follow the channel to watch the next videos. Goodbye and see you again.